hello everyone and uh, welcome to my channel and in this video we will learn basic differences between a classic site a sharepoint classic site and a sharepoint modern site and if you don't know know how to create a classic site or how to create a modern site i have created separate separate videos and uh, you can go to my channel and watch the videos on how to create a classic site and how to create a modern site okay so let's uh, get started so on the left hand side i have this classic site and on the right side we have this modern group site okay so uh, the very first difference between a classic site and the modern site is the layout you can see that layout is pretty old and uh, it's just very basic on the left hand side the classic site is very basic and on the right hand side if you look into the modern interface it has a refreshing ui and uh, you would see that uh, the styling and uh, the presentation of this site looks amazing it look good and in terms of design as well it's look very good and now let's do a small comparison of the uh, settings available in the modern site and the settings available in the classic site okay so i'll open this first i click on this gear icon and i have this setting option available we have this shared with edit page add a page these most options available on the classic site now let's do a comparison of the settings available in the modern site so i have clicked on that settings okay so you can see the very first option is shared with so that shared with is not available in the modern site although we have this add a page and add a page option here add an app site content is there site information this is a new feature which is available only in the modern team sites or you can say a modern group site site permission is also there okay and uh, I'll, I'll tell you that why uh, site permission is there in this settings pane there is a reason behind it and i will tell you what is the what is the reason behind this apply a site template okay uh, you can ignore it site usage and site performance change the look so these are uh, some added features uh, in a modern site however these features are not available apply a site site usage and check performance is not available in the classic site although everything is just the same and we have this site setting option directly although we can go to site setting in the modern ui as well but uh, we need to do an extra click and uh, I'll show you what is the extra click needed but before that let me show you one more quick thing here okay so I am on this modern interface and if I just click on this pencil icon here uh, I'll just click on edit the page will go to edit mode and you can see that editing is very simple it's look very neat and clean it look uh, very modern and futuristic as well even you can just browse through the page and can look into the web parts and if you just hover your mouse here there is a very sleek gray line here and i click on this add add a new web part so it will open up a plethora of applications for by uh, in, and i can search through any application and can add any web part so I'll just quickly show you. Suppose I want to add this web part. So I have multiple web parts available. And uh, I want to add this web part. File and media. I can just select this web part. I will get the option to select file, whatever. And uh, I'll just select the file. Uh, or else I can upload the file as well. I have multiple options available. So this is, this is uh, definitely a good feature. So in terms of uh, uh, modern features availability, so definitely this modern site has an upper hand. However, if I come to this place on the classic site, I can click on edit page and this page will go into edit mode. Otherwise, I can just click on this edit option here. On the top, you can see that there is one edit option here. If I click on this edit option here, okay now take a close look so you can see that this page looks very old 
if if you are not uh, familiar with the classic sharepoint so to so you will find it very uh, difficult to use and you will find it very basic uh, you do not find anything uh, as compared to modern you will not have uh, multiple web parts available and uh, moreover if you want to add any web part then you need to add that web part in the web part gallery of the site then only can use that web part and moreover if you want to add any web part here okay on this page there is a uh, uh, the the, te the technique is very uh, uh, very old so you just need to click on any uh, empty area click on insert and click on this web part and in this web part as well there are multiple web parts available to add but you should be aware that how to add them and what is the basic use of it adding those web parts and in fact uh, like i mentioned that the web parts categories or you can say the number of web parts are less as compared to modern so we have apps we have document library so if you click on add here you can add the add the document library as well and we have this blog option here i can add this business data is there community is there content roll up there are multiple web parts available but like i mentioned you need to check you need to actually uh, check and use that use them how to uh, you, know, you, you need to basically try and test these uh, uh, web parts beforehand and okay you can see that multiple web parts are available but if i compare this with the list uh, which i have okay it is nothing this list is uh, quite long and uh, it, it it has a more refreshing ui like i mentioned so i will uh, i will be, i will do one thing i will create a separate video on how to add a web part on a modern page and on a classic site or on a classic page okay and let's move forward let's look into the other areas and let's look more into the differentiation of a classic site and a modern site okay although you can create a modern page and can make this classic site a modern site and in uh, maybe next videos i will do the same i will create a modern page and i will set that as a home page and i will make this classic site i will turn this classic site into a modern site like the one which i have on the right hand side okay so let's move ahead this is one difference which we have seen which is uh, the page the page layout and editing of the page modern the web parts of the page now let's look into the other things i'll go to the site content now so everything will remain same if you if go to documents the layout will seem even the uh, uh, the the working of the library will remain same because they are basically they are using the same platform and same uh, uh, resources that is why the functionality of both the uh, document library will remain same however if you compare the settings then you will find something different here and uh, i'll show you so this page is loading up okay i'll just wait till this page loads up okay so this page has loaded up on the left side we have this classic side and the modern side is there on the right hand side so now you can see on the left hand side there is no folder in it okay by default there is no folder here however if you see the folder general which is there in the documents okay in the modern side it is because this modern site has a teams associated with it and that teams has a folder called files so that file tabs will contain sharepoint files so because of that we have a general folder we have a general folder here folder here because uh, when you go to microsoft teams so as you know that this modern team site has a group associated with it with, which is this one okay and it is also having a team site associated with it and that team site has a channel which is 
general that is why we are saying general here i hope uh, this is clear to everyone in case if you are still not clear then let me know and then we can do a separate video let's uh, move forward okay as i was talking about the settings let's look into the settings here i'll come up here i'll click on this settings i'll go to library settings okay so let's go step by step on both of the pages so the settings let's go here let's go to library settings okay more library settings okay i have clicked on library settings on both of the uh, pages now most of the settings looks quite similar however there are multiple things which is uh, available on the right hand side available on the left hand side however there are things missing on the right hand side like we have this save document library as a template which is not here and in fact we have this delete option here which is not here and uh, what i believe is since this document library is the by default library created in a modern site so maybe that is the reason we are not able to delete it but if you take a close look here okay this is also this is also the shared document library which is the default library which gets created however the classic site allow us to delete the default site so this is one of the main thing which which classic site allow allows us so if you see here i will uh, let me show you i get this delete option however i am not getting any delete option here so you see there is no delete option here and again one more thing which i would like to uh, notice you guys will like what i would like to introduce here is if you go to site content if you click here okay so you see there are multiple options here available here okay but if i go to the site content okay you see that there are there are a couple of settings missing here and if i go to let's go to let's go to site settings then okay let's see how it looks like okay so you see that site settings uh, does seems to have uh, missed some features or, or sites or site settings if i compare this with the classic version of site collection if i come up here okay so you see there are multiple options here which we can use however those options does not seem to be available in the modern team site or other modern group site and i'll tell you the reason uh, behind this okay so the basic reason behind this this classic site supports the customization by default but this does not okay and i'll tell you the reason uh, behind it so in order to know the reason okay uh we need to go to the classic sharepoint admin center so i'll take you there but before that let me show you one thing as well so i was talking about the site permissions page if you go to the home settings here uh let's see it's just loading up okay let's wait for a moment okay so uh, i'll tell you what happens is when you when you go to the settings of this modern site you you get a site option directly that is because if you look into the view all settings options there you do not get the option of people and group site permission you do not get this this option there that is why that site, site permission is there Okay, uh, let me show you quickly. Uh, 
it is still loading up okay let's it, it's loads up and uh, let's wait for this page to load up okay so this page has loaded up now you can see that site permission option is there and when you click on there you will be navigated to the permissions page of the share of the sharepoint site and let me go to the main settings and i'll show you what i was talking about i go to the site information and i will go to the view all settings okay okay so this uh, page has just loaded up now you can see that on the left hand side we have this user permission section however on the right hand side we do not have this so that is why there is a special setting option is there which is called site permission so um, now you understand what i was talking about and if i click on this so you see that site permission is there okay so uh, this is for the today's video and let me quickly let me quickly summarize all the things for you so what we have uh, learned here is when you go when you on the classics on the classic side the page the very first page is pretty dull it's very basic you get this edit option here and if you are not aware if you are doing the editing for the first time that you will find it confusing you will need to uh, uh, do a lot of hard work in terms of editing the page however if you do the same thing on the modern team side the classic the, the ui is flawless that you can add it anything and uh, you will not hard you will not find it hard to editing the page or or uh, doing any sort of customization with the page and let's go to the second thing which is related to deletion of the default library so if i go to site content and if i want to delete the default library i can do it very well but i cannot do the same thing with the modern site and let me show you quickly i go to site content on both of the sites okay okay so we have loaded the site content for both of the sites and I, as i was saying that the default library can be deleted in the classic site and uh, you can see we are getting the delete option here but on the right hand side we are not getting any delete option here if i click on this so it means that i cannot delete the default library in the modern side and one more thing which is comparable which is in channel so the, we, we get this in channel option and if you remember we have seen a general folder here so this general folder is basically the channel name so if you see here i have this test modern here okay and i have this general here so basically that general and uh, this general will basically this folder uh, here so anything which uh, is stored in this general folder will show up in this general icon here in this general uh, uh, file stamp here okay so this is one of the major differences and like i mentioned if you go to the settings for uh, this site you get multiple options there however you do not get the same option here you do you just get the site permissions here because when you go to the all set settings there you do not get the site permissions so this is one of the major differences okay and uh, that's it for today and i believe i was able to uh, cover up all the differences here and again yes this is very very small differences that on the classic side you get the option to connect this to a group uh, a microsoft 365 group this is a one time job you can only connect it once and if you have connected it already with uh, any group then you cannot uh, uh, disconnect and reconnect the different uh, office 365 group that is one of a major drawback and uh, yes in case you still have any doubt so please uh, drop your query in the comments and i will be more than happy to assist you or, or help you so that's it for today's video and uh, we'll see you in next video till then take care and keep learning goodbye